So in this question we have a series circuit with a thermistor and a fixed resistor. The thermistor is a resistor that its resistance changes depending on the temperature. I will explain a bit later how the temperature changes, how the resistance changes on the thermistor. And this one is a fixed resistor, that it has a fixed value of resistance. Now, um, the question is saying that the thermistor has a resistance of 490 ohms and we need to find out how much is the resistance on the fixed resistor. So we should be getting a value of 400. Now, from for the fixed resistor, for from the ohms law, in order to find the resistance, we know that we need to have the voltage across the fixed resistor and the current across the fixed resistor. Now, what do we know from these two? We only know the current. The current is 6.8 milliamperes, and because it's a series circuit, it's the same current that goes through the thermistor and the same current that goes through the fixed resistor. Now, this is not enough though, because we need to know we need to know the voltage across the, the fixed resistor. Now, what are we going to do to find that? We have to look at the thermistor. So, on the thermistor, we know the resistance and we know the current that goes through it. Therefore, we can actually find out the voltage on the thermistor. So, again, using Ohm's law, the voltage on the thermistor will be 6.8 milliamperes and because it's milli we need to multiply by 10 in the power of minus 3 so it's the current times the voltage which is 490 so if i do that let me just do it quickly on my calculator so i get a value of 3.33 volts now how is this going to be helpful the, the 6 volts of the battery, they are going to be shared into the two components. This is what's happening in series circuit. The voltage of the, of the power supply, or the battery in that case, it will be shared into the two components. Yeah. Now, we found out that the thermistor, it gets a voltage of 3.33. Therefore, the remaining from that, it will go to the fixed resistor. So, therefore, the voltage for the fixed resistor will be 6 minus 3.33. That will be 2.67. So, the voltage of the fixed resistor is 2.67 volts. Then we're coming back to the equation for the fixed resistor and we substitute in voltage for 2.67 and current for 6.8 times 10 to the power of minus 3 so if you do this on the calculator you will get a value for resistance to be 392.6 ohms which is approximately 400 and this is how much the it should have been So next one, we need to explain how the voltage across the fixed resistor will change if the hot water will be replaced with the cold water. Now I'm just um, I've just copied the circuit here, so we don't need to scroll up and down. And I have also added the um, the graph that shows how the resistance of a thermistor is affected by temperature. So from this graph, you can see that if we have a low temperature the resistance is relatively high and if we have a higher temperature then the resistance decreases so these kind of thermistors is what we call the negative coefficient thermistors right this is what we're dealing with in IGCSEs there are other thermistors that the resistance increases as the temperature increases but in that case, we have the negative coefficient thermistors. This is what we use in IGCSEs. So, therefore, what's happening here? When the hot water will be replaced by colder water, that means the temperature will decrease. And from the graph, you can see when the temperature decreases, the resistance 
is increasing. So first thing we need to say is that resistance of thermistor increases. Now, we have two resistors in series. If the, therm if the resistance of the, of the first one increases, then the total resistance of the circuit is going to increase as well. Because in series, we add up the resistance of the two. And if we get a higher resistance in the whole circuit, what happens to the current? If the resistance is high, the current is decreasing because electrons are finding it hard to move around the wires because of the higher resistance. Therefore, the current will decrease. So current in the circuit decreases. All right. So then from the third point, we can use two different ways to explain it. You can say either that from Ohm's law V equals I times R, considering that we have a value for resistance, which is a combination of the two. If the current decreases, then what happens to the voltage? It will decrease as well. So the voltage on the fixed resistor will decrease. Another way to explain it, which is, I think, a bit more advanced way, and it's a better way. Now, if the thermistor has higher resistance, that means the electrons that are going through this resistor will need to have more energy, or they will need to spend more energy on the thermistor comparing to before, because now it has more resistance. So they need to have more energy to be able to go through a resistor with high resistance. Now, out of these energy per charge that they carry, they're going to use more in this one. So, since the voltage is shared between the two components, if the electrons are spending more here, that means it's going to be less voltage for the fixed resistor. Therefore, the voltage on the fixed resistor will decrease. So, voltage on fixed resistor decreases.